Hey everyone, my name is Thomas. Welcome to my channel. This is the Ready to Form Voltron Build Series Part 1. Today we're going to work on assembling the chest. That's the only thing that's fully completed. I'm still waiting for a few parts to finish for the back part of the chest. So this might take a while to assemble. I had to break the chest and back parts into 25 pieces. I still have a couple pieces that I want to print on the front, but I'm just not sure if I really want to add those yet because it might make the top part of the chest too long. So. Stay tuned for more. Okay, as you can see, the entire chest, front of the chest, has been fully assembled. Some of the seams are not perfect, but I'm going to fix that in the post work with some uh, Bondo and then some Bondo spot putty to help close up some of these gaps. Some of the printing wasn't perfect, like it had some rough spots, so I did the best I could. So I'll take a look on the inside. I still have some more uh, welding work to do on the inside just to finish securing these seams to make sure that nothing falls apart. And as you can see, everything else is pretty solid. This has some weight to it so I'm a little concerned about like how heavy the full suit's going to be but I need it to be strong enough that it'll last so there you go like I said, it's a little snug down here but that should be okay as well they will bend out a little bit and also when I uh, assemble the back I'm just going to use straps like I did for my burning Gundam. I'm going to put the straps right in this groove here and in this groove over here and maybe right here but I'm not 100% sure yet of how I want to do this. Today we're going to start putting the uh, back together. I have the chest all now together. I just finished that today. Still got some work to do on the inside, but got the main part of it done. So now we're going to get started on assembling the back. Here we go. Okay, so the back is now all together. And it's a pretty solid heavy piece. So what I said before is what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some uh, rafts, I'm going to use my heat gun and just warm it up and then just lay it on top of here and then just use my soldering iron to connect it to the actual chest. It's going to add some weight to it, but it's just going to make this more solid and all together. So just the side. And all back here is just going to be I'm just going to take some Bondo and just put it right on top of that just to kind of give it a smooth surface. I may go back over it again with my soldering iron to like finish making that connection, but I think it's pretty solid. So, this can stand on its own. There you go. Hey everyone, my name is Thomas. Welcome to my channel. This is the Ready to Form Voltron Part 3. Today we're going to start assembling the blue line. All those parts have been completed, so now we're just going to go ahead and start welding those pieces together. This was going to be a little bit more challenging because there's some gaps that I'm going to need to fill in with uh, Bondo and Bondo spot party. So hopefully I can get these pieces to connect and then work with the Bondo later. So let's get assembly. Okay, so I've got all the parts welded together. They're, the, my welds are not perfect. I still have to go back through again and to uh, reinforce it a little bit more, as you can see right here. It's got a pretty good cover on there. I just gotta put another layer of uh, filament on there, some, some scraps on that to help close that gap up. And here is, 
here's the top part of or the entire shin to the knee this is actually pretty heavy uh, and also I still have to work on the wells because they're not perfect because I really couldn't reach in there it's got these very thin areas to um, to, to connect I should have probably cut the piece of this crap a little bit different I had to redo my welds because some of the area it didn't have a lot of area to connect to uh, get the welds on there. What I'm thinking I might do is just take like my heat gun to warm up some uh, rafts and then just lay it where I wanted to, and then use my um, soldering iron to smooth the, the finish the connection. I'm not going to try to put this on you because I'm afraid I'm going to break it, but basically that's the blue line. Start assembling the yellow line. This one's going to be a little bit trickier to assemble because I had to make a couple extra cuts just so it could fit on my print bed and I wasn't wasting a lot of supports. Um, I had to cut this front part off here and I also had to cut off the center part that was right here between the two uh, pieces. So. Let's get assembly. Okay, the yellow line shin has been completed. I'm not going to try this on because I still have to reinforce this seam right here to make sure it's sturdy enough that it can that it won't break under its own weight, and also when I go to move my leg that I don't break it. Um, so I still have a lot of post work to do because there's some divots in there, and there's some holes from when I was trying to weld the pieces together. And the seam here I gotta work on trying to smooth out, which shouldn't be too bad because you're not really gonna see that part from far away. So and here is the foot for the yellow line. Basically almost the same as the blue line, just a little bit different. But I also have to go back through again with some rafts right here to help to solidify the connection and the same thing on the sides here. This is the Ready to Form Voltron Part 5, maybe 6. Check the description below for the correct number. Uh, today we're going to work on welding some of the pieces, the rest of the pieces for Voltron. Uh, we have some pieces down here that I need to weld together. And then I also have the cod front and back to weld together. And then I also have to weld the wings together. So let's get welding. Okay, so I finished the parts that I wanted to weld, so now I have the, the front and back of the cod. I know I gotta go back through and I gotta pull some more of these pieces. I'll just use my utility knife to uh, get those off. So here is the front part. Here is the back part of the cod, which I'm probably just gonna take some simple straps to wrap it around like here and here on each side and just have it go around to connect to the front because there's not much really to the cod piece at all. And I got the two wings done. <clears throat> As you can see here are the wings. They go like this on the back of the suit. The got some warping on there, but that's okay. I can always take care of that with some Bondo and some Bondo spot putty. So then I gotta figure out how to attach these to the back of the chest because there is a spot for it to go in but I have to figure out how I want to attach that. I might CA glue, I might weld it, I might draw a bolt through it but I'll have to still figure that out. Now here is the chest with uh, the lower part on there so now it looks a lot better. It gives it more uniformity with the back because before the back would just be that much longer. So. All I'm going to do is go through here again and re-strengthen any spots that need it. I don't think this one needs that much, but the back piece does need um, some more work to it. Hey everyone, my name is Thomas. Welcome to my channel. This is the Ready to Form Voltron Part 6 Test Fit 1.0. Today we're going to try on most of the suit and we're still working out some of the straps and everything else. So let's get ready to form Voltron.
There you go. Four blazing swords! So there you have it. I still got some work to do, but I've got, I'm actually pretty happy with how things are going. I got to cut some length out of some parts and I have to make the holes wider so I can get it further up my arm and figure out how to not lose my helmet by looking down. Let's go Voltron Force! Okay, so I managed to get the costume off. It took a little while to get it off because there's some things that were getting caught. So I noticed that there's a lot of things that I need to improve on first off is I need to imp I need to make this hole here wider so I can fit my arm through it better and then it can go further up my forearm so it's not hanging down as much. I also have to attach the other bicep which I already have the lanyard on there. I just have to glue it on there. And what I was trying to do is when I did the form blazing sword, here is the blazing sword. I have it printed in three pieces. I had to glue some of these little notches together because it kind of broke when I was trying to um, put it together, but it's actually holding pretty well. So I didn't, and I also scaled this down because I didn't want the sword to be huge because then it would have been like almost impossible to carry. So if I. Something like that. Nope, gotta figure that out still. May not be able to do like many action poses with this, but got something. And I have some length that I need to take out of the uh, thighs because they're pushing down too much on the shins, which is like hurting my feet. Because the bottom of the feet are actually they're not too bad. It's just that I have to make sure that everything isn't like weighing heavily on it. The chest, it fits fine up here. It's a little too wide, but if I was to make it any smaller, it would be way too small here. And I don't need to do that because I had to break up this chest and back into a lot of pieces. And I also still have to figure out how to attach the wings. I may just weld the wings on like through the back just so they're on there and they never come off. Um, but that'll be after I get them all smoothed out and painted the way I want them to look. So that is it for right now. Thank you for watching and please remember to hit the thumbs up to let me know that you liked the video.